hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of building with sausage this is mythical sausage here hello what's up everybody man we're back again in our tutorial world i'm about to do a very special build it's pretty big it's a big one i like it it's really cool a lot of details you're gonna love it i promise but if you guys want to check out any of the previous builds we have behind us there's always a link in the description with the playlist go check it out so many cool stuff down that road but we're also using our boy germs and boys pack so if you want to check out that pack too man it's a link in the description go get it it's amazing it's my favorite vanilla pack but today man we're doing a, a nice little uh spanish style villa and it's sitting right in front of me let me show you and we're gonna build it all camp it's gonna be a long tutorial i promise i mean I, I, i'm gonna try Not, to make it short okay here we go one two three flip there it is look at that <laughs> look at cool isn't that awesome i love this thing this villa this villa is just too sexy Let's take a little spin and show you how we did it. We got a cool little block palette going on over here and it's super, super sexy. Man, mm -mm. I love this build. So <laughs> we're gonna show you interior. I did interior on this bad boy. But first, let me show you how we build this thing. This is the dimensions right here. Let me go ahead, let me get on top. Pause the screen, check it out. Everywhere you see white, that's just the main building. Wherever you see a brick, that is where we're gonna put a little pillar. And wherever you see that wood, we're gonna add either a door or a window to that bottom floor section. But there it is, look how cool. Okay, now these are the materials we're gonna be using in this beautiful build right here. Oh, there's a nice village over there, look at that. I might do an upgrade. Okay, now these are the materials we're going with. We're gonna go with a block of quartz. We're gonna do some quartz stairs, quartz slab, some white terracotta. We'll bring some bricks, brick stairs, brick slabs, and some light gray stained glass for the glass glass there. And we're gonna bring a couple things along the way, but let's just go. Let me show you how we're doing this thing. So right off the bat, we're gonna see, uh, this is the a little tower, okay. Right here, we got a little wall, all right? And we got another little wall. The main building is just this line right here, this big old L shape. So this part's a little wall. And then we got a little tower here. So first off, um, let's just start building. So for now, let's start on this tower right here. So for this tower, we're gonna use a uh, brick on the bottom. Oh, so all this whole area, we're gonna use a brick lining. If you see right there, it's a brick lining all the way in the bottom. And then if you notice, all the corner pieces, we're gonna have this uh, the, the quartz right here in the corners, and all the corners, okay? So let's start working on this thing. So first off, Let's start right here on this block. So uh, remember, these are where the windows are gonna go. So we're not we're gonna cover it up now, but just to remind yourself, these are where the windows are, go, are gonna go right here, right here. But let's just go ahead and run a line right here of five. It's a five by five box. That's all it is to it. It's to a five by five box like this. Okay. Now from here, uh, we're gonna do. Uh, let's just bring it up. Let's bring it up here. So now in the corner with our uh, regular quartz, we're gonna go up. Now we're gonna go up by one two three four five six okay so technically seven because this is the first block okay so six <laughs> uh, i mean sorry seven seven total okay <laughs> and then let's get to the corner one two three four five six and then one two three four five six right here one more one two three four five six and then this is what we're gonna do right here we're not gonna put a window here we're not gonna put a window here yes here yes those we're not gonna put one because we have this little uh wall going around so we don't need it so let's just get the white terracotta and we're gonna fill it all in all the way till we get to the tippy right about there okay leave one space on the top now we're gonna do this watch this and then we're gonna give it one space and then go up like this like this and then leave that here for this one we're gonna grab a, a stair put it right here give it a space of two another stair right here and we're gonna cover that up just like that let's make sure look how pretty that's right there uh, okay now we're gonna do cross beam cross beam okay now let's go around actually let me make sure yeah we're fine uh, and then let's come over here let's grab that's white again let's go up again and we're gonna do the same exact pattern right over here with our stair give it a space of two stair and then we're gonna cover that up perfect just like that okay now uh, we're gonna do the same thing again here. So let's cover this up, cover this up all the way to here, cross beam, and that's fine. Now, for the door, uh, we're gonna do a door right in here. So we're gonna do this, one, two, three, and then put a little door right there to get into that tower. Just like that, perfecto. Uh, now, let's do the little wall, rotator wall. Now, for the wall, I said, wherever you see these little lines, you're gonna put a pillar, but we're gonna do a pillar out of quartz. So we're gonna go up here by one, two, three, four, okay? Four and five, we're gonna do five. Now, give it a space of three. One, two, three, four, five. Give it a space of three. One, two, three, four, five. 
Now, on the top here, we're gonna cross beam, cross beam, like that. We're gonna put an upside down stair here, of course, here, of course, another upside down stair here and here, and we're gonna leave it just uh, like that. But on the bottom, we're gonna still keep that theme. Sorry, we're gonna keep that theme. Boom, boom, and boom. Now, this you can get rid of. I just wanted to show you there was a space of three, and let's cover that back up. And then we'll just uh, play around with the, sh the dare form and the stuff after. Okay, so we got that look. Looking pretty sexy. There it is. Looking pretty. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do it over here. Now we're gonna do boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let's do it again with this one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So technically five from this bucket. Uh, and then cross beam right here and a cross beam right here. And again, we're gonna do the same thing with the two upside down stairs on all sides, just like that. And that looks pretty sexy. Now let's do something else. Let's actually lift this wall up. Uh, for this part of this build. So we're gonna do the inner wall right here and then we'll work all the way around it But let's do the inner wall. So for now, let me just make sure let me um, let me uh, let's see what, let's see this is. Okay, wait one two. Okay, and then we have this. Okay. I gotta watch this watch this. Okay <laughs> So this is what we're gonna do for this inner wall. We're gonna keep going down with this So one from this wall here. So this is one two three four five. Then we're gonna put a stair six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so it's a twelve here and then we're gonna turn it so from here it's it our count it's one two three four and we're gonna stay going up here five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so that's a thirteen right here going all the way around just like that okay and then we're gonna bring in the white terracotta and we're just gonna go up let's just go up right to there this is meet up and let's just cover the whole wall up let's just cover the whole wall up and then i'll show you where we're going to pop in these uh actual doors and all the window stuff we're just going to lift it all the way up so we're going to do the same thing on this side right here going all the way around like so and then we're going to go all the way this way and then we're gonna meet up right over here. And now here at the end, let's get the uh, quartz block and we're gonna go up like that. So let's just go all the way around with it, just like this. Super, 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 super simple. And then let's just finish this off. So let's just go this way now. So from here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's a seven and let's get the, uh, is, uh, what's this again? Uh, <laughs> the quartz go all the way to the top. And then let's cover this bad boy up all the way up here, just like so. Now, let's run a line and let's do it all over this way. So from this corner, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay? And then here we're gonna do a little pop out, which is for the little uh, chimney over there. But let's just cover this up. So from here again, we're gonna go all the way down, like so, all the way down. And then we'll pop out the windows just so you can get an idea how the walls are gonna go. And then we'll pop out the windows uh, after we lay out the walls all the way up like this. Okay, now here, let's grab one of those blocks and let's grab the quartz, go up to the top. And then we're gonna run again this line uh, right here of bricks. So from here, let's count. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then at the end, do this again. So we have always at the edges. We're gonna put the uh, the quartz just because. Look at the cool thing that happens when you're mixing this with Jeremy Pack. Look at this thing. See, so you have the little uh, connected textures that just go to the side with that. That is so cool. I love that so much. So that's like so sexy. Oh, another thing, right here at the edge, just so we can have that theme going and that connection. We got that there, over there. Perfect. Now, on this side, let's keep this going. So we're gonna twist it in by one, and then we're gonna go from here. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna cover this up right here. Bring this guy over right about here, here, and drop that guy. And then we're gonna meet up on the top again, right there. And then we're gonna twist. So now this time we're twisting it. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're gonna bring this in the corner. Uh, what is this? I'm placing it wrong. Okay, that right there. And then we're gonna connect all these up again together. So let's get to the top. And now let's do it again. We're gonna twist this again. We're gonna turn it here. This is one, two, three. Oh, hello. One, two, three, four. We're gonna cover this bad boy up. And now we're gonna twist again. So from here, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Now here we're gonna go ahead, put this one in the corner, and then roll all the way down to the end. And again, we're gonna do the same thing on every edge. We're gonna add that 
court a lot and it just makes it look a lot sexy a lot a lot sexier but what also we're going to be doing is we're going to be modifying as we go along so in the middle in the inside we're going to add a lot of windows a lot of variation a lot of sexy so let's twist right here then we're going to front go from here one two three four okay and then we're going to do this again and then on the inside again lift it up with the white terracotta no, like that perfect now let's twist this again i'm gonna go again from here so that was one two three four five six seven total and then again lift this up at the corner and we're gonna go ahead and run this all the way down and then we're almost done connecting all the pieces so from here is one two three four and then we're gonna just meet it meet it up in the middle like this Perfect, so we have it all lined up, ready for our first floor of building. There you go, perfect. Now, next up, let's start working on some details. So first off, right here, we're gonna do our little roof. So for our roof that goes on the edge of this bad boy, we're gonna start doing this. So right here on the top, let's just go ahead and run a line of slab of our brick right here, and then run one underneath that. On the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're running a line all the way down like so boom perfect now we're gonna do it on this side again so bump 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 meeting up on the top one layer underneath on the bottom and another one on this side right over here now another thing we want to do is we want to join this side to this side so this is how we're gonna do this so take that little piece out we're gonna go ahead and run this line right here right on top of it and then this underneath it just like that perfect now run this line going all the way this way so that one's going to join up to there and then this one's going to go all the way down to this one and then get rid of that little piece. i don't know what that's doing with it uh but there it is that's how it looks like that's how sexy that is now we're going to lift up from here so don't worry about it this is looking very cool now this is what we're planning to do now let's actually uh, pop out some windows on the sides of all these buildings. So next up, oh, and if you notice, uh, I did bleed up a little bit of the brick, but we're gonna do that at the end. That's just a little texture job that I added uh, later on. So don't you worry about it. So for now, uh, let's just do our, uh, add our stairs uh, right down here for our window. So right here, skip a space of one, two, three, drop a stair, skip a space of one, drop a stair, get a space of two out of here, knock that down, and we're gonna put a window right there. Look how pretty. Now, let's go turn on the side. Now, from here, we're just gonna do a space of one, two, three, drop a single window right there. Now, here, we're just gonna go up with it for now, just so you know, we can actually take this part out too. So just go ahead, we're gonna lift this up. This is gonna be a little, uh, this is where the kitchen is gonna go. So this is uh, a little um, furnace, a huge furnace. So we're just gonna go up a little bit. Uh, let's just go up from here. This is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's do a 12. And then for here, uh, let's just do a 13 as a placeholder, take these out. And then I'm gonna do a little twisted twist job and see if we can make that look cool. Hold on, come on. This is always the hardest part. I wanted to twir twirl all the way around. There we go. And then right there, uh, I would just get rid of maybe this one and then let's put a slab there we go. So that's our nice little uh, chimney chim chim right there. Perfect. Okay. Now, right here, we're going to give it a space of one, two, three. And we're going to go down right here. Drop another window right here and right there. Perfect. Now, on this side, we're going to do a triple window right in the middle. So give it a space of one, two, three on the fourth. And then we're going to grab these all out of here. Do a little step going like this and another one going right over there. Perfect. So we have a big window right there. Now, we're gonna go all the way around to this side. On this one, we're gonna do, is it triple one? I think I did a triple one. Yeah, I did a triple one, okay. Now, give it a space of one, two, three. Here, we're gonna drop all these here. Space of one, one, two, three. Ooh, um, hello. <laughs> one, two, three here. And then another space, one, two, three, and bam. There we go, big triple window right there. Look how pretty that looks. Okay, that looks awesome. Now, we're gonna go on this wall, and let me see. Hold on, that's bad. I just did this like yesterday. It's fine. Uh, so, we're gonna do a space of uh, one, two. So, right here, we're gonna drop a window. Here, we're gonna do, give it a space of one. Now, we're gonna drop a quartz right there. Give it another space of one, and we're gonna drop another one right here. 
and then one of these. Let's actually replace this guy. Like that. Okay, cool. And you'll see why. Because this uh, these courts are going to go to a pillar that goes to the top. We're going to do a little nice little balcony area right there. That's perfect. Now, come on this side. Here, we're just going to do a uh, double window. One right here. And one right there. Okay, now we have pretty much all this set up. Now, we're going to do a door. On this one, we're going to do a space of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the seventh, a little upside down stair right here. And then we're going to do a step up right here like so. Perfect. Now, over here, we're going to do a triple one, which is from this end. One, two, three, four. Then do five, six, seven. These three. Let me make sure. Oh, no. These three. <laughs> Almost. Oh, so close. All right. Right here. These three, which is technically right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we have a space of four. So this is going to be another way in. It's going to be like this. Uh, a stair going up just like that and then connect these corners like so and then let's actually take one more and then uh we'll, we'll work on the door after let's leave it there for now <laughs> i did something really special with that now let's do this let's go up actually one more on this with the quartz we're going to give it one more of our uh white terracotta and then we're going to go up one more on that just to give it a little more space so we have it all layered up until we do the the actual window so let's take it up one more on this bad boy like so like so all the way around with white terracotta and then wherever we have the um these quartz just give it one more of height just one more of height so let's go right here all the way down boom like that one more there boom 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 there we go and then we're just going to go up one more until we get to here and it gives us one nice little bit of clearance after this roof right here so we're gonna go all the way around white terracotta we get to here turn it and then boom we got to this point now next up what we want to do you see what this is uh, a, a whole row of quartz on top we're gonna do the same thing on the same level right on this so now let's do a whole row of, of the quartz going all the way down like this all the way down like so and we're gonna cover this up now let's get to the end once we get to the end, I'm going to show you, we're going to do some detail work. Watch this. So this is going to go all the way down. And this is going to be your separating layer from the first floor and the second floor. So that's how you know where you're going to start our second floor at. And we're going to go all the way around until we get to there. Perfect. So then we're going to start our second floor right now. So <clears throat> this is how we're going to do it. So to make it even easier for it, this is what I want you to do. Come over here. See this layer right here, this line. That you see here we're going to connect this line to this line so you know where your separation from this building is see if you notice this building we have our it doesn't have a second floor it just has a big roof right there so that's how you know where your separation is from this part of the building to this one right here on this i want you to run a line going all the way down like that okay so that's how you know where the next building uh, is going to be connected to so before we get to that side i want you to do something really simple right here we're going to do just quartz slab on the top just to cap this building off right now just to cap that off and then grab a slab just so we can finish this tower off <laughs> grab oh, that's not even how you spell slab there you go grab a slab let's do some spruce and we're going to go one layer right there and then we finish with the top that's it and we're going to run a ladder on this tower i would think it would probably be right there uh and boom leave that open for now so that tower is done and we kept it off with these cool little uh little cassidy looking bits now on this section they start running uh the actual um the, the the stair to make the the nice roof so right here let's pop this out and we're gonna go all the way down like so like that and then we're gonna go just regular all the way up just like this and then at the end we're gonna do what we did on the other side we're gonna break it up with some slabs and stuff like that and over here let's just do some upside down stair let's meet up right in the middle oh oops there we go there we go and then that's the center so boom upside down stair right there and on the top just a, a simple slab like that and then let's do the same thing we're gonna run it down going all the way back down this way bam 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 Bam. and then run it down to there and then keep it going to that and it caps off right here against that wall look how easy and then we're going to keep going and do the same thing right here right over here and then here it, it, i'm just going to run it all the way down so let's speed this up so we can make this video a little less long okay here we go all right so we got that done to there 
It's looking very cool. We're matching it up very lovely, very nicely. Okay, now, another thing I want you to do is actually let's break off this little piece right here. Uh, I think it looks a little better if we just a white terracotta all the way to the tippy tippy top, just like, oops, like this. And then we're gonna add another window right on the inside. So right here, take that out, take that out, drop that guy in there, drop that in there. We got another little extra uh, window right there. Let's see, look how pretty that looks. I love that, that looks nice. Actually, you know what, we can bring it down one more. Let's bring it down one more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's bring it down one more just so we can have a little more clearance on the top. I like that. I think that would, that's how we did over there. Yes, we did. Okay, perfect. So we have that going. Very lovely. Now, uh, this is all done. Let's come on this side. And it's all done on this side. And I like that little extra layer that we have that separation there. Okay, perfect. Now, next up, uh, let's raise this guy up here on the side. So right here, what I want to do is see, I did that little bit of design with just a little bit of extraness here, just because that looks way too plain and way went straight up. So I wanted to add something else here. So for this one, just knock this little piece down, just that one. That's the only one we're knocking over, knocking over, and just do some upside down stair of our quartz going like this, just to give a little more detail to that side. Now for here, we're gonna do a space of from here. Let's just start count: one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six. Okay. <laughs> over here again: one, two, three, four, five, six like that, and then under here, we're gonna work on a little window pattern that we see here. So first off, let's do a row going all the way up of our white terracotta, and we're gonna go up one extra on that one, okay? Here, we're gonna do another row of white terracotta. Here, we're gonna do an upside down stair, upside down stair. We're gonna go up here by one, two, three, and then upside down stair that guy. One, two, three, upside down stair this guy. Over here, more white terracotta meeting up right there. We're gonna go up again like that, cover that up, cover that up, okay? We're gonna cover this up, cover this up, cover this, 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 and this, because you know what, it, it's gonna be like that. So from here, we're gonna go up another extra one, and then we're gonna drop this guy, space of one, two, three, drop that guy, and then boom, capping that off, and that is your roof for that section on it. Very nice, very nice, I love it, I love it, love it. Now, over here, come with me, we're gonna do, uh, uh, if you see on this side, we're gonna grab uh, this little extra, let me grab this thing right here, boom. I'm gonna grab this little extra bad boy and we're gonna put this chiseled quartz right here. One right here, 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 here. Did we do all of these or did we, yes we did. Okay, perfect. And then I'm gonna grab a slab and go here, here, like that. Do a little up and down pattern, just like that. Put one more extra here, one on the side, boom. Right here, another extra one right there, and then one on the side, bam. So that is our little uh, outdoor patio area thing. <laughs> it looks really cool. Uh, another thing I wanna do is, let's grab a quartz right here. Let's run a line here just so we can meet up with this and with that. And then over here, um, you know what? Let's grab our spruce, and I'm just gonna just, just floor it up. Like that, and like that. So that is our balcony area. Cool. Now, for this section, let me make sure it's short real fast. Let me see something. Oh, I see, I see what I did, I see what I did. So a double door. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab our white terracotta. We're gonna go up right here. We're gonna go all the way up to there, okay? Let's do another one. Let's grab, uh, we're gonna do a double door. One right here, one right here, like so, okay? And then we're gonna grab that white terracotta again. We're gonna go here, one, two, and that is gonna look sexy, just like that gonna go underneath and right actually on this level so we can make a big door I think that's perfect we're gonna add a trap door and stuff so it can look like a big giant door from this corner let's just go up we're gonna go up by one two three four five six give it a space of one two three one two three four five six give it a space of one two three one two three four five six so we got that and then we're gonna just cover the rest of this wall up uh, with the white terracotta like that now over here we're gonna do uh, a little archway so let's do cross beam action here cross beam action here I'm gonna do a where did my stair go um oh here we go okay <laughs> we're gonna do some uh, little archways right here and here a chisel here, here, and then I'm gonna do some stairs going like so, bam. So we have that nice little archway thing, and then this is gonna be like a little balcony area, which is gonna be super cool. Uh, over here, I'm gonna do the same thing for this balcony section, and we're gonna do bam, 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 on the edges, and then we're gonna do again the same little trick all the way around, and we got our second balcony over here, and boom, cool. Now, another thing I wanna do is do a little cross beam here too, as well. And we're gonna do the same thing we did over there with our spruce, and we're gonna do a flooring right about there. Perfect, so we got a little flooring right there, perfect. Now, on this side, we're gonna just gonna go up with our white, 
and we're gonna go all the way to here. I'm gonna do a white, except here we're gonna go all the way up with our quartz to match that side right there. And then this is white, this guy, white here, white here, and then let's grab our quartz and we're gonna make a little doorway right here. Uh, and then let's just seal it up with the whites and just do a little upside down stair on the third one right there. Perfect. So that's another door to get to that balcony. Nice. And now we're going to repeat this same pattern we see here. We're going to do it over here too. So right here is just one, two, three. Let's lift this bad boy up. Cross beam. <clears throat> one, two, three. Lift this up. Cross beam. And we're going to do a little upside down stair balcony trick. And then out here is just going to be an outdoor area, which is kind of cool. I've never done a little balcony on the in with an interior. It's like an interior balcony. It's pretty cool. Uh, so let's do some stairs this way, this way, just like that. And we have that little look to it. Now, for the rest of this, I'm just going to cover it up with some white terracotta all the way down. And let's just meet it up right on the tippy top once we get oh i missed click so many things right there perfect so we're meeting up right there and then you know what let's actually do cross beam we're not going to see it let's just do cross beam here let's just do a little cross beam right here we don't we're not going to see it but just for to make it look sexier <laughs> we're going to do a little cross oh actually let's just wait on this one let me see something let's take that out because we have windows here Okay, so the windows are going to be placed right here, here, and here. And then we're going to do the same tiering method, so like that, okay? So single, a single one, and a single one right there. Cover that up, cover that, cover that, cover that. And we make the little stair pattern, and we got the single ones on this side. Let's see, let's lift this up, 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 up. There we go. Perfect. So that's going to match up perfectly with the other side. Just like that. That is looking lovely. I love that. That's so cool. Okay. Now let's drop this just by one because this is a little bit too high. Let's just drop this in by one on each side. You can leave it high like that, but I think if you drop it in uh, like this, it'll look a little better and we'll cover this up right here and right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. That looks a little better. It's too high. Let's go down a little bit. One more. And we're just going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're gonna upside down stair that and that. That's gonna look a little better because the other one was too big. And we need this level right here. So it, it would actually have a little separation between the arch and the roof. Okay, so let's work on the roof right now. Uh, roof is super simple. Right here, we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other side, on the smaller one right here. And we're just gonna do a simple tiered roof going up one level at a time. So let's do this real fast. We'll speed this up and uh, I'll see you at the end of this thing. We're just gonna go straight down with it. Let's go. All right, so the roof is done here and it's looking very, very sexy. Look at that. We're gonna go all the way around with it. That's so cool. Now, another tiny little thing that I added was a little window right here. So from this block right here, give it a space of one, two, three, knock down just a small little single window right there and right there, small tiny baby window right there. Perfect, so we have this whole thing done. Only thing now what I would do is for detailed stuff, uh, let's grab some brick and then I'm just gonna just break up this a little bit. Just go ahead and lift it up uh, in certain spots. Just make it look like it's all uh, very rustic. So it's like bleeding out like this on certain areas, not too much, just a couple spots like that, like this. Oh, not there. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. There we go. Maybe another little spot like this. So now it looks pretty cool. It looks a little more uh, unique. It's not as um, as perfect. I don't like making these perfect. I, I like looking like it's, it, it's been through some stuff. Something like this. We can even come on this side. There we go. There we go. Maybe on the edge like so. There we go. And it looks a lot better like that. You see that? Isn't that cool? I'm going to add a little more here, maybe like that. And it doesn't have to be exactly how I'm doing it. I'm just putting it in a certain spot. Just make it random, but don't make it look like a pattern. That's the only thing you want to make sure. Don't make it look like a pattern. Now, another thing I like doing too is on, on these top parts. So you can leave it plain and simple like this if you want. You could do it. I won't be mad. But if you want to make it just a little bit more rustic and run down, come over here and let's drop in certain spots 
make them four blocks instead of the um the full stair just do four blocks like this if you want to give it that beat up better beat up look to it like that so some of these tiles have been worn down been messed up for quite a while and it just gives a little bit more detail to it just a little bit if you don't have to just like that random okay and you don't have to do it a lot you can do it only on certain spots maybe peppering it in every once in a while put a two put a one uh, something like this will look cool. Maybe give it a space right there and just do some. This is just random, okay? Uh, you can also add bush to it like we did here just to give it a little bit more uh, life to it. The green really makes it pop when you see that um, that brick on it. So right here, just like this is how we would do it. Uh, not too much, just a little peppering in of it. Like, not here. I, actually, I don't like doing it on the bottoms. Uh, I, I like just doing it not on the tops or bottoms. I just like doing it in the middle uh, sections like this. So something like that, just to give a little bit of detail, uh, just makes it pop a little more. So it's not just one continuous line. Just something like that. Now, another little thing I would do is I would grab the uh, uh, slab and I will pop right over these little overhangs uh, right actually on that same line uh, here a little three a little one right there maybe one right here and then a little tiered one is like that on this it just gives it a little bit more a little overhang uh, to these bad boys so right here here and there uh, and then over here we got one more there there and then keep it going on the sides right over here and then we just pop in our glass right there and you can use any glass I, I just really like the way the light gray uh, just complements it it's, it's so nicely uh, <laughs> so it's, it's still in the uh, the light colored glass to match the light colored walls but you can make it contrast completely off uh, by putting maybe yellow or red or something crazy uh, on the side like that so that doesn't even matter so something like this to cover it all up boom and there we have it just like that now, another piece of detail that you could do. Did I break the wrong one? Yes, I did. Uh, so another thing that you want to do is uh, when we come into this side, uh, we can do some stuff. So over here, what I like to do, let's go with the trap doors. And in Jeremy Pack, the wooden trap door, the regular wooden trap door looks like a spruce trap door. But coming up in 113, you're all going to be using uh, that, that spruce trap door. Everyone knows they're going to be using that. Uh, so door, <laughs> we're going to grab this door right here. And then this is pretty cool. This is what I like doing. We're going to do like an entrance and an exit. So like that, like that. And then if we lift this up like so, look how cool. It has like a big door like that. And that looks pretty, pretty cool. I love that. Uh, we could even do a stair. Hold on. Grab a stair. Do something like this. All right. And then on the inside. Oh, wrong door. And on the inside, we can grab the trap door and then layer this up like so. Like that. And then it covers it up. And it looks like one big door right about there that looks really cool and if you want you can even do that that looks pretty nice there you go so you have one big door like that that's pretty cool here it'll be just a single door so it's no big deal uh but another thing that i did it was over here uh i did mess around with this as well and i did this and i also did the same thing i put a nice big double door like this right there boom and then that covers up so on the other side it looks like that which is so cool i love the way that looks you can even we can even lower it and do some kind of design like that too which is pretty sexy i like that but uh, that's a big door right there <laughs> but that is all there is to it let me give you a little spin job hopefully you guys did like this this came out really cool i love this but guess what we got some interiors to do. <laughs> and i'm gonna show you some interior inspiration and i forgot this i'm gonna it's gonna ruin me if i don't put that there there we go perfect okay so let me go on this side and i'll show you what we could do with interiors with this build hopefully it gives you some inspiration if you're gonna build it on your own so let's go inside real fast uh and let's check this out so i detailed this up so these right here are note blocks love it little uh little barrels little details here on the side and we got this cool little cart man i love that if you guys want me to do a tutorial on this cart let me know it's really super simple if you look at it right there you can already see how to build it and it's super awesome uh so now over here on this side see we have a little door to get in we have a little extra storage here and then we got storage all on there and then a little ladder to get to the top once you get to the top we got a little more storage but there was a white carpet which looks very cool oh a little thing we did here and whatever you can see it's not hard uh right here we put two spruces and a little overhang right there it's no big deal but now let's go inside you ready for this interior inspiration 
let's go. Uh, so right inside, once you come on in, got a nice little carpet. We did a, a nice roof. I like this roof because right here we got some uh, dark oak planks and some dark oak slab. And we got this cool little Spanish roof uh, ceiling looking thing that I love. That looks so nice. Uh, over here we got a little library area, a little seating corner over here, and some more books. And I like this little, um, little uh, look we have here. Kind of uh, looks cool because it's the same thing kind of like we have on the second floor. We have a nice little uh, archway thing thing. So that's pretty cool. I love this room. Look at this. And the ceiling, though. Now, I separated the room right here. Uh, so we have a nice little archway entrance. Coming on here, we got a little stair to get to the top. Over here, a little nook here for some plants and stuff. And we got a little dining area on the side. Cool little carpet right there. A little light. Uh, over here, a tiny little reading area here. Once you finish eating, you can just sit here and just chill. Uh, and then we have a nice little uh, table right here. Looks like a bench. It's really cool. I like the way that came out. Now in here, our big old kitchen. Check this out. This kitchen, though. I love this. Uh, this came out really, really cool. Uh, so we have this little area right here. Uh, this is where the fireplace is. You can just do your cooking. A big old giant uh, cooking station. A little island in the middle. Uh, and then we come in over here. We got dual sinks. Uh, more storage on the top. Drawers, cabinets all over the place. Cakes, plates. It's all over here. I love it. I love it so much. Big old refrigerator right here. A little ladder to get to some extra back storage, which is up on the top right here. But, oh, man. What do you guys think of this? This came out cool, right? I like this. I like this so much. Now, uh, we're going to come up over here. We're going to do a little twisty twist, a little turn, turn job. And we're going to get it over to the next section. So over here, uh, it's just one big bedroom. This is for one really rich person. Uh, so this is a big bedroom right here, a little master bedroom. Nice little painting, a little cabin in here, uh, storage. And then we got the little outside right here. Uh, here I made it to a single door, but man, I think I wanted it into a double door. What was I thinking? Hold on. A double door right there. And then we can get outside. A little seating on the outside corner. It looks very, 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 very cool. I love that. Uh, so now we're coming around to the side over here. A little walkway on this section. I could technically, I made this into another bedroom, but I really love the idea of a little, oh, I forgot the door there. Uh, of a little outside area. And on over here, we got this cool little uh, lighting structure, which came out really cool. All these are glowstone in the middle. This little hanging light right there. I don't know. It's really, really cool. I love that. Uh, and big seats here. So you can just sit here, chill out, watch the view. Uh, and then over here, you can sit out, watch the view. Have some friends over just hanging out right here. Look at that village. Another village we're going to upgrade. Uh, and then again, balcony. Get out to the outside corner. And a nice little spot right there. That is super cool. Uh, I could have done an attic if I really wanted to. But I was like, nah, you know what? That's enough. Uh, but that's it. That's all there is to it, man. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. I love building this thing. Just a little inspiration here on the interior. You guys can modify it, do whatever you like on that inside. And uh, just play with it. Play around with the shapes. Play around with the style. Uh, and man, this came out really, really cool. Oh, and I forgot these little overhangs right here. But you, you see it. You can put those overhangs right there. Uh, but that's all there is to it. Add random bush if you want to give it a little more life. Uh, but man, what do you guys think? Did it come out okay? I like this villa. I haven't done a, a big villa like this ever. I think this is my first uh, first go at it. Uh, at a big old uh, Spanish-style villa like that. But man, it, I, this is awesome. I'm out of here for now. Let me know if there's any other build styles you want me to try out, any other build types, any other buildings specific. Uh, and I might sneak it into the next upcoming episode. But you know what? I'm out of here for now. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode of Building with Sosa. See you guys later. Look at this place. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> later. Thank you.